early on a Sunday morning in 2010, I think it was, I was just out for a morning jog and happened to run past Kayville the morning after the Duke UNC game and saw it dozens of tents and tarps and sleeping bags lying out and was curious about what happened to those and asked a couple of the young students who were around what happened and she said they all had to put them in the trash or take them by about 24 hours from then. So in less than two hours a few of us gathered up I don't know how many hundreds of pounds of usable items and we realized we needed to figure out what to do with it and somebody had the great idea of contributing it to TROSA, Triangle Residential Options for Substance Abuse, located in Durham. They have a huge yard sale every year, they could have industrial washers, they washed everything, and as far as we know it was all sold or used. As chairman of the Sanford School uh, Internal Communications Committee, I'm the person that sends out the email asking for volunteers to come out on a bitter cold morning after the Duke Carolina game to collect everything that's usable so it can be donated to TROSA. We want to be able to recycle things as much as we can, but there was nobody available to do it. For whatever reason, Duke didn't have the manpower to collect the things that were reusable, so that's what we're doing. I'm glad that we can collect things that can be sold and used for a good purpose. I think we got at least a, a dozen to 15 volunteers this morning to come and do this. I think today we collected at least four dozen or five dozen sleeping bags, a lot of blankets, a lot of clothing, uh, and a lot of other types of bedding. Trosa was, you know, has been incredibly appreciative. This sort of came out of the blue, and now, thanks to you know, Stan's getting it more organized this year. We hope that this will be an ongoing annual event, and obviously we'd welcome any students that are around after the game to participate and help get involved with this cleanup effort. There are lots and lots of tent stakes out there. If any Boy Scout troop leaders or Girl Scout troop leaders would want to get involved, there are other ways that people could use even more of the items that we're able to donate.